just the stimulus package, $1.9 trillion has passed the House of Representatives. Um, $1.9 trillion, which includes uh, a $1,400 check to most of you, and, and uh, maybe I'll get one, who knows. It also includes a, uh, a lot, a, a, a huge amount of money. There's, there's uh, help for small businesses through the uh, payroll protection program. There's a massive amount of money that goes to state and local governments. There's a massive amount of money that just goes to a variety of different projects and different programs that have nothing to do with COVID. I mean, this is all billed as a stimulus plan, but there's nothing stimulating about it other than handing people cash. Most of it is just throwing money away. Most of it is just growing government spending, growing government power, and printing a lot of money. A lot of pork. A lot of pork. And there's going to be more as Biden works his way through his agenda. It's, this is going to be a pork-filled legislative Congress. Now, beyond, um, beyond that, the House stimulus package included an increase of $15 an hour to the minimum wage. All the, the, that would slowly increase and kick in in 2025. Uh, 20, I've talked a lot about the minimum wage, and I'm going to talk about it again. I mean, it's an awful idea, really, really bad, really, really bad, in particular for those that it pretends to help, that it is, you know, uh, lies to us about helping. But the thing about uh, the bill is that uh, the Senate will not vote for a raising a minimum wage. Uh, the Senate, <coughs> the Senate has ruled already that it cannot vote as part of the package, so it would have to have a separate vote on the minimum wage to get that passed. They would have to have sixty votes. They don't have sixty votes. It's likely that they don't even have fifty votes because uh, at least two Democrats have said that they do not support raising the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. The progressive part, the, the progressive part of the Democratic Party are flipping out. They're going nuts because they think that this is, you know, a, a, an integral part of the agenda of the left and it has to pass and yet many Democrats oppose it. So it's, it's just not going to happen, the $15 minimum wage. Of course, Republicans, as always, are coming to the rescue. Uh, and uh, so... Uh, uh, Mitt Romney is proposing a $10 minimum wage, and Josh Hawley is proposing, instead of a minimum wage, some income supplementation. So uh, there's now a call among Democrats to unite with Romney and potentially with Josh Hawley to pass some kind of bill to raise wages of employees. Anyway, a, a total disaster. Instead of the Republicans holding the line, opposing raising the minimum wage unequivocally, and they would win that battle, they're already starting to negotiate and starting to compromise. So who knows? They might have a filibuster-proof 60 votes to raise the minimum wage, just maybe not to 15, maybe to a lower number. But there's a good chance it will be raised. So thank you, Republicans, for being such a great opposition party. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. 
all it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing. Whether you're looking at this, uh, and and you know the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.